Well, hi, this is Marty with FLIR Securities TCX Training Department. We're here today to talk about FLIR Securities Database Backup and Restore Tools. So let me get my stuff straight here. And uh, I think the first thing to point out is it's very important to be able to back up these system databases because they contain all the components and settings that we need. So the first thing to do, let's go ahead and take a look at these release notes here real quick. And we'll scroll down to the table of contents. And you can see uh, there's not a lot of things in here, right? But there are two different tools, the database backup plugin and the restore tool, which is basically what it's telling you here in the preface as well. And uh, they do go hand in hand together, of course. One backs it up, and then the other one allows you to bring it back in. One is actually within Latitude, and the other one is a separate tool. System requirements got to have 7.0, and you need at least one uh, plugin instance. You can see right here a very basic installation. The directory admin center and application server machines need to have the plugin, and you do need to restart those services once it is installed in the system. So we might as well go right to it, and we'll go ahead and do the system database backup plugin. This is the one I pointed out is going to be installed right in Latitude. We're going to go in there and take a look at it and configure it. And we simply follow along the normal installation instructions, hitting next each time. It completes its task, and now it's done. So now, as I mentioned before, uh, let's go ahead and close this down and go ahead into our control center, excuse me, into our uh, admin center, and take a look at how we set this up. It's very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and just launch admin center right here. It should come up pretty quickly. Uh, again, very, very basic tool. It's important that we back up the databases in our system, the directories, the brains of the system. The EDB is the uh, audit trail server, which I don't even have turned on, but you'll still see instances of it here. And our archiver has SQL databases that have things associated with the video as well. So let's go right over here to our new physical view. Uh, one thing that's important to note, uh, in order for this to function, you do have to have an application server up and running. And you can see that I indeed already have that there. So now let's go back to the system. We're going to see right here in the general tab, the new settings. They're right down here at the bottom. And they're very, very simple. Right? you got a path and you got a schedule. And you just simply tie the two together and you'll see how easy it is right here. So let's go ahead and choose our backup path. I've got a folder on my desktop called DB. It's empty at the moment. So let's go ahead and choose that. And once we choose it, then we do want to make sure that we have right access to that path. And this indicates that we do. So that's good. Let's go ahead and say OK to the backup path is valid. And then we simply have to decide when we want to do it, daily, weekly, or monthly. And then, of course, uh, what time we want to be able to fire it off. So let's go ahead and save our settings right here. We can also, now we're not going to wait till 4 AM. So we can also back it up right now, which I'll just click on here. And you can see how easy it is done. Hover my mouse over here, you'll see. Oops, I have a very small system, right? It's just for test, but you can see I still have files in there now that have just been sent there because I backed everything up. And you can see this is what we were talking about. All three of the main uh, server service databases are backed up directory, EDB, and the archiver databases. So here, now this is the path, right? And we're going to do our backup tool. Uh, we need to know where those are located at, or excuse me, our restore tool. Uh, so we can then restore those backed up databases. And here's our tool right here. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the installation of our database restore tool. Just like anything else we mentioned before, uh, just next, next, next to the restore tool setup, choose your location, hit next again. And then it begins the very simple and quick process of installing it on the machine. We're going to see it pop up on our left-hand side once it's done. Uh, boom, there it is. You can see it on my desktop now, a shortcut to it. So let's go ahead and hit close now. And uh, we'll go ahead and close this window here as well. And we will launch our FLIR database backup tool here in a second. But I do want to point out this is the path, right? So if we're going to restore any databases, we need to know where they're at. This is the location the DB folder on my desktop. So let's go ahead and close that down. And we will launch the separate, right? This is not uh, applied to Admin Center like we saw the backup tool was. Uh, this is the Restore tool. It's a standalone tool. And again, very, very simple. We simply tell it where we're looking. And we ask it to restore from this backup into our Latitude system. There's my DB folder on my desktop. There's the three different databases. Notice when they were backed up, it does do them all uh, together. At the same time, we need to choose one. 
at a time. So let's go ahead and do the directory first since it's the main system settings database. And once I go ahead and click on start record, or excuse me, start restoring, it's going to tell me right here the, exactly what's going to happen. It's going to restore it on the machine with that chosen backup file. It just wants to make sure that uh, I'm cool with that. Now, I'm glad this actually happened. This is in the release notes, but it points out if it has to start and stop services automatically, and if for some reason it can't do it, it just asks you to help it out a little bit. So it says it's trying to stop the Saffron service, and it failed. So all we're going to do is come right down here to our services and just give it a little bit of help. There you can see there's my Saffron service. I'm just going to right-click that and go ahead and stop it. Give a little help to the restore tool. And I'm glad it is actually showing it here because, you know, if you run across this, you will not be alarmed. So we're going to say OK. And it's going to continue its restore process. But since it couldn't stop it, most likely we're going to run into what we just saw pop up here. And it's going to just tell us, hey, you know, help a brother out. But go ahead and start that back up for me so I can complete my restore. And it's a very simple process, as we just saw. We just start it right back up again. And once it's started up, and there it is up and running, so let's go ahead and now go back to our tool. Uh, let's go ahead and close this down here up at the top. And now, again, this should complete the process. We'll start it back up, and as you can see, uh, it is successfully restored. Keep in mind, again, finally, uh, although the backup tool in Latitude does them all at the same time, the restore tool is an individual one-at-a-time thing, so you would have to do the directory, the EDP, and the 